Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys the most secure redstone house in all of Minecraft. This house features over 50 plus redstone creations to help keep your house safe and kill your enemies slash friends that try to break into your house. But before we get into this video, guys, don't forget to hit that like button. As soon as you guys hit that like button, I'm gonna start the video and show you this amazing house. Did you do it? Did, 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 you, did you hit the like button? Okay, I'm gonna trust that you guys hit that like button and we're gonna get started and I'm gonna show you the most secure redstone house in all of Minecraft. So here it is, the most secure redstone house in all of Minecraft. Now it's not a mansion or anything and uh, it's, it's, it's not as big as some people would like, but I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this house is amazing. Now there's no wiki or videos or tutorials on what the 50 redstone attractions are, but that's half the fun of this video. We're gonna figure out a lot of them together. It's gonna be like a puzzle solving mystery ball of fun. Now I do know quite a few of them though because I've been exploring this house, so let me show you how you get started. So right when you load this up into your world, you're gonna start right here. So as you can see, they have an awesome redstone beacon contraption. It's like a security system. Now over here you can see the map creator. It was created by Euclides? Euclides? Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but if you guys want to get the map, I'll link it down below in the description. So if you want to check it out, want to install it in your own save file, go ahead and do so. This map is amazing. But okay, so let me show you. So it says put the key here, but first make sure all beacons are green. So the key is actually in this chest back here, which is just a redstone torch, nothing crazy. So if you want to make all these green, you have to come over here. So as you can see, there's little buttons and these are used to change the colors. Well, let me show you the varying colors. So it goes green and then it's like a black color. And then I think it goes to a red and then it goes to, I think orange, something like that. No, it goes back to green. Okay. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we got to make sure this orange one turns green. So we're going to slap it and it should turn green. Oh, is this a dark green? That's not the right green. Well, there's purple. Oh my God, is there like 16 colors? Oh, there's probably 16 colors, guys. What have I done? Okay, after changing through the colors 1,000 times, this should do it right here. This should turn green. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, I hear movement. I think we've done right things. All of them are green, so now what we can do is place this right here, and that should work. It's working, I'm hearing noises, and there we go, the bridge is placed. So as you can see, we now have a bridge we can walk through instead of falling down this deadly, deadly tunnel. So that's the first part, but as you can see, you still can't get inside the courtyard of the house. Yes, that's right. This house has like three steps you have to do just to get inside. So as you can see, we had to get the key from the tree. We had to put the key next to the tree and get all these green, and you also had to come down here. Now down here is a, a like a, a number keypad you can consider it. And right here's the code, the, the creator of the map was nice enough to give us that because trying to figure this code out would literally take like two Two days, three days, four days, 10 days. There's probably like a billion options. So the code is 6248. Now when you enter these, you gotta do it somewhat slow because you wanna make sure the redstone can, you know, detect that you're hitting the numbers. So six, two, okay, that works. We get two lights up, four, and then the last one's eight. So we have three lights and there's eight. Now with anything redstone, you're probably gonna get a little bit of lag when all the redstone's running. So you might notice that throughout this video. As you can see though, the redstone has taken down all these blocks and it's opening up a very amazing entrance for us to walk through. It's, it's a huge, huge process, but it looks so amazing. And it just makes you, if you're showing this house to your friends or your family or whatever, they're gonna be so impressed because it takes literally three steps just to get in the courtyard and look at, Look at this. Now, th these these little gates, they're all rolled up and we can go inside the house. But before we go into the house, I wanna show you guys the yard because this yard has like a billion features. I'm telling you guys, it's got so many things. Now, over here, you have a day and night cycle. I'm not gonna do them because the night cycle, it has a little bonus. It, it's got, I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna save that for the end of the video. The night cycle's amazing on this map. So as you can see, there's a daylight sensor, automatic day and night. You can turn that off. So if you wanted to stay day forever, you could flip this switch and it'll be day forever. So they really included like the ultimate little starter guide over here because you can switch it to day or night whenever you want or you can just turn day and night off. But over here, guys, this is where the magic happens. As you can see, you can see a little horse and, and a little fence post, okay? That's horse armor and a fence post. Uh, there's a secret here. There's a secret under this ground and I think I know how to work it. We're gonna try. You're gonna try. We're gonna try. Look at that, it opened the fence. Okay, look at this. So now I'm inside this part of the lot and, okay, 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 hold on. Here we go. You guys ready for this? This is amazing. 
Look at that! We got a horse! We have our very own horse! Like, isn't this amazing? Just like a horse that comes out of the ground and then there's some hay and straw for it to eat and lay on. It, it, this, this, this house, literally, this, this is a billionaire's dream, guys. This is all about finding all these hidden buttons. So this just turns on and off the light. There's a button here. I don't know what it does, but I'm guessing it does something. Oh, it's doing something. Oh my God, it opened a staircase. I'm telling you guys. Oh man, yellow record, yellow record. Okay, so this is a yellow record. Don't tell me. Do not. No way. No, no, what? No, no, my mind is blown right now. My mind is absolutely blown. How the, how did that record? Okay, I'm getting kind of scared though, because that music's scary. Um, should I step on this? Oh my god, is this a secret pain? Is this a secret pain? I don't know. It is. It's gotta be. No, it's not. Oh, is this just, do you worship down here? I don't know, it's creepy, I don't like it. I don't want that in there. Oh my God, it closes back up after you take the music disc out. Okay, this this is amazing. This is amazing. It's like a secret bomb shelter. Oh, it's a bomb shelter under the barn. It's like, it's like one of those fallout shelters. Oh my God, this is amazing. Okay, so this is just the yard, guys. This is just where you and your friends would come. Hey now, ride some horses, maybe play some football or something like that. But now here's the house. So as you can see, the house has really good architecture there. There's like nice flooring, good carpeting, nice decoration all around, just very nice feeling. Now there's more buttons. There's even a button on the floor. I'm, I'm afraid to press some of these buttons because I think there's gonna be like a troll somewhere in here. We're gonna hit this one on the floor. What was that? Oh, did you see that? Did you? Something moved here. Something moved here. How? Did it, do I go there? Did, did that open something? Okay, hold on now. Bridge? You can shut the... Oh, no way. Hold on. Hold on. Did that close the bridge? It closes the bridge! Oh, my God. Okay. Okay, so that closes the bridge. This is truly amazing. Now, oh, I got to show you guys something. Okay, you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Okay, so watch this, watch this little fence post here. Okay, you ready? Oh, it put the house on lockdown. You can't get in and you cannot get out, guys. It is this this is the most secure house. It has to be. Now I don't know what the glowstone does. I guess we'll have to discover. I don't know what this one does either. The iron doors? Did it close the gate? It closed the gate. Oh my god. Okay, let's let's open these back up. Cause I don't want to be trapped in the house. As much as I like this house, the thought of being trapped in it, it kind of scares me. So there we go. So now that that's back open, we can explore the rest of this house. So as you can see, this house, oh my, it's got another thing. It's got another button. I saw, I saw it. I saw something light up. I don't know what that did. I I'm telling you guys, there's no wiki on this anywhere. And we're just discovering this together to make sure that this is the most secure house in all of my, oh, wait, hold on now. Oh, that turns on and off that little water fountain. Okay. Well, that's kind of random, but I, I guess it's necessary. I like it. Okay, so let's flip this. What is this doing? What is this doing? It's dispensing bone meal. <gasps> it's a bone meal dispenser. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me these. Let's plant a carrot. Bone meal. Oh, no way. So you can literally grow your carrots instantly. This is like self-sufficient. This is amazing, you, you know, you can live off the land. You can literally do anything. Okay, so let me show you guys. Look at this, look at this. Hold on, hold on, how did I do this? Oh, I closed it all. Okay, okay, hold on. Now, down here, you're probably wondering, what is that? What does this moat do? Well, this moat actually fills with lava, and I saw it happen when I was doing literally nothing. I was literally just kind of chilling on this map exploring, and all of a sudden it was filling with lava. So I think that this is attached to the day and night cycle. Let me hit the night cycle. Now this is gonna create some lag, because I think this is what causes the lava to come in. I, I think it's triggered by the night cycle. I swear it was! <gasps> oh! Oh, I see! I see, I see, I see! Okay, hold on. Come on, I wanna go down in the basement. This is a whole world of fascination. Oh, 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 No way! No way. No, 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 you're kidding me. You are kidding me. You are kidding. Hold on, what is this gonna dispense? It's empty. I feel like it was supposed to dispense armor or something. Oh, that would've been cool. Oh, it is, it is dispensing armor. <gasps> Oh, it did. Okay, so we literally can put on a full set of armor. 
This is amazing. Okay, okay. So, just a, an armor room that, that suits you up. You can push this. You can get your varying pieces. No. No, that changed the whole armor stand. What does this do? It puts the crafting table away. There's like, there's so many features. Like, look at this. It's giving us a full stack of ender pearls. Okay, or ender, yeah, ender eyes? Ender, ender pearls, okay. So let's do this. It'll hide the chest. Oh my God, so you can put things in there? Or does it give you a different one? Does it send it down the like, okay. I'm freaking out. So like, we can hit this. This should bring up an enchantment table. Oh, no way. Okay. It turns it into the perfect enchantment room. The perfect enchantment room. Okay, hold on. Oh, no. No, no, no. Another portal. This is insane. I am, I am beyond excited. Okay, the only thing we haven't figured out yet is how on earth, how on earth do we, one, get out of here? <gasps> Does the nether portal take us out of here? No. No, that's gonna take us the, that's gonna take us the nether. Okay, back from the nether, and I'm trying to figure out how we are meant to get out of here. There's gotta be a, some type of secret passage or secret way out. There just has to be, because this place is just too amazing to just leave it like, oh, you gotta fly all the way back up or do something like that. There's gotta be an amazing way out of here, and I'm going to find it. I promise you that. Oh God, I think I found it. It's literally right here. Oh, <laughs> look at this. It's like an amazing elevator. And now I'm just back on top. Oh no, okay, this is, I gotta put this house in my Minecraft world. This is my house. This is now my house because this is too amazing. Now there's gotta be a secret way. There's just gotta be on how to get this lava in this moat. You know what? I'm gonna leave that up to you guys. Go in the description and download this map. Tell me how you turn the lava on in the comments or tell me if you got it turned on in the comments and try to teach me how because this this is gonna be my future house and I really wanna have a lava mode. I think that would be amazing. But if you guys can figure out how to turn it on, that is huge kudos to you guys because this house is just too insane, guys. 50 plus redstone contraptions inside. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. Now, if you guys want more videos like this, tell me in the comment section down below what I should look at next. Like giant redstone creations, the best houses ever made, stuff like that. If I like your suggestion, I might use it in the next video and feature you. But thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, remember to take it easy, lemon squeezy.